All right, back to basics. Back in the gym, working out again. You know, uh, if you follow me on Instagram, I haven't been as active on here or on there as much. Fucking business. Running a business and running multiple businesses is really intense. It got the best of me because I didn't lift as much weights. I kind of feel like a little bit of a bitch, a little bit of a cunt. I operate better whenever I have physical goals. You know, and I, uh, I'm human like everybody else. We go through all these different wild thoughts in our heads. We should try this or try that and all that. But at the end of the fucking day, you should do what is best for you. Not anybody else, not listen to the fucking bullshit, not listen to everybody else. I mean, for God's sakes, there is so much fucking crybaby bullshit on the internet, it's unreal. I've never seen so many people call themselves influencers, but also fucking be negative towards other people. Criticize them, judge them, motherfucker. Like if you're a fat piece of shit right now, debating on what you should do with your life, or you're like an overweight guy or an overweight woman trying to fucking figure out motivation, dude, do it for your fucking self. Stop worrying about everybody else and what they're gonna say, do it for yourself. So me, I gotta get back to basics. This is, I mean, I don't care whether you are uh, an advanced lifter, whether you're a beginner, whether you're a fucking professional, the basic shit works. It fucking does. As you can see, like, lift weights eat steaks. It's fucking pretty basic. It is a simple way to look at everything. The way I train, simple way to look at everything. Don't overcomplicate anything. Make shit simple. Chicken and rice, motherfucker. Guess what I'm eating now? Chicken and rice. I eat steak twice a week. Back to chicken and rice all the time. I want to get fucking jammed. Makes me feel good. Uh, in all honesty, right now, I'm like 222 pounds. I'm a little bit of a fat, like, I just don't like this shit going on here. Like I said, I was training maybe two, three days a week, like end of October till about now. And it's January 3rd, Shane? 3rd. Third. Third? Yeah, good job. Didn't let myself go, but I just was focusing on the business. I have to focus on making money, running the company, making sure everybody's employed. That shit's intense, just like many of you with your lives. All the holidays and the cookies get the best of you, but get your shit together and get on pace. Me, fucking basic shit. And again, bro, I don't give a fuck what you all do. I'm a bodybuilder, that's my mentality. That's the way I like to train. I like to look good naked, I like to feel good. My whole goal in life is to fuck shit up. My whole fucking goal. It's like you see this happy-go-lucky dude. I'm always, these people, oh, you're positive and this and that. It's like, motherfucker, don't forget, like, to, in order to do shit in life, get shit done, you have to be fucking intense. You can't be a pussy. Hence the way I talk to myself. Back to basics, bitch. I'm not calling you a bitch. This is me talking to myself. Don't be a little bitch, you fucking cunt. You whiny piece of shit. Do the work and shut the fuck up. Like, if I talk to myself this way, this is the mentality I put. So I'm geared up, ready to go. Whenever I go into a meeting for work, or whenever I'm doing anything with my businesses, why the fuck do you think my businesses do so well? Why do you think we're eating people alive? Many of you are fucking, you want some of the reasons for that, fucking buying all the shit, pushing it, loving your life, fucking shit up. I'm on the back end, in this, making sure things get done. Making sure that this brand becomes something that's not just like, hey, we make great supplements. No, motherfucker, we're coming for everything. That's my goal, so I have to attack everything in life that way. That's about being a hard-working motherfucker. So, whenever I talk to myself, this is how I do it. You know, I have to, uh, I, I, I will say this, that you need to have a notebook. If you, want, if you want to set yourself up for success, some people don't need it, they're always goal-oriented and they're so much better than you, and I can't believe that he needs to do this. Motherfucker. I know, there's, <laughs> I'm saying this in reference to some, many of the people on Instagram on, and on YouTube that make fucking review videos on other people and things like that, and I'm like, bitch, you just fucking, you're, you're just a YouTube guy. Be more than that in life. Be more influential. Like, oh, you're criticizing other people for what they do in life. Who the fuck are you? I don't get it. So, get a notebook. I have a whiteboard. I write everything down that I need to do. The more I write down, the more I constantly see, the better I do, the better I become. So the way I talk to myself on here, I have, that's how it's all working in my head. Do shit like this. You know, whenever I do today, fucking basic shit. Assisted pulls, barbell rows, one-arm dumbbell rows, fucking deadlifts. Deadlifts don't gotta be heavy. You don't gotta be fucking half Thor Bjornsson doing fucking thousand pounds. Do the fucking exercise. Some people don't like the exercise. That's fine if you don't like the exercise or you can't do it or you have an injury or whatever it is, do fucking rack pulls. If not, do something else. It's a fucking mental exercise. Also builds a good bit of mass. I prefer it. I like doing conventional deadlifts. So what am I gonna do? I'm probably gonna stay around the 315 range. 315, 405, something like that. Good clean reps. Basic shit. Get back to doing basic, complex shit. 
Don't need to go, don't, you still need to move some weight, but do the fucking exercise, do not neglect it. If you can't do it, do rack pulls. Good clean form, building a back, not just moving the fucking weight. Don't hurt yourself, moron. Meaning, my ego will get the best of me whenever I'm doing it. I'll be like, oh, I can fucking pull four, 495, I can pull fucking 585. You might be able to, but you also might fucking tear a hamstring. No, no, don't do dumb shit, motherfucker. You're starting, you're starting over with it all. Then, my grip pull downs, and don't forget the foam roll. I write everything down. Get your notebook, write everything down. Make sure that you set yourself up for success, just like your meal prep, just like everything you do in your life. If you're not prepared, and you don't have a fucking landscape for how you wanna do things, you're not gonna achieve what you think you can. That's why it's good to have a plan going into anything. All right, so the other thing that people always fucking bust balls about is, oh, Seth, you're just selling your supplements on your YouTube channel. Yeah, I am, fuckhead. It's my goddamn company, I'm a supplement guy. I also push food, I have fucking tons of videos about eating right. Supplements are supplements, you stupid motherfuckers. They're supplements, they supplement your life. They're supposed to be fun, they're supposed to add an edge to your workout. Yes, I like them, I prefer them. I make really good ones. That was my goal, these high quality ingredients. In my opinion, my brand's probably some of the best shit on the fucking market. It is. You know why I know? Because I worked for other companies, I saw how they operated, I know what they put in them, and now I talk to manufacturers about what the fuck are in the supplements and what it takes to make them. That's how I know my shit's fucking better. I know how this shit works. It's a little scary and a little ignorant, and you people out there that are kind of negative about it all, change the fucking channel, suck a dick, go fuck yourself. I don't know, what should I tell you? I like non-stem pre-workout, hydraulic, and I like a rapid glycogen loader. Demo day. My two favorite things whenever I'm doing pretty much any workout. Um, the only one that I won't do a lot of this on is leg day just because it'll fucking, lower back will get a little inflamed, a little, little pump, not inflamed, from uh, doing squats. Find what works for you, try things, be excited about this shit. Don't judge other people for their decisions and what they do. Like people that don't take supplements, good, don't take them. But people that do, or people that want to try things or experiment with things, get led in the right direction. Recommended doses are very important if you're trying like here. We have seventh gear, this is our extreme stem pre-workout. Don't go too scooping the fucking thing because you think you can do it. No. Melt your fucking face off. The gym. When you're in your setting, bro, enjoy it. Don't be such a judgmental fuck, okay? This is about, this is about people becoming better. This is about you becoming a better person in every aspect of your life because we all know that this is a therapy. Like, whenever I've been out of the gym for the past two months and I haven't been consistent, well, I'm a little bit of a fucking asshole. I'm not the way that I want to be. Do I have to do things? Yes, I gotta suck it the fuck up and I gotta do everything I need to with work because I also love my fucking businesses. But at the same time, whenever you see people coming into your gym or you're looking around, you can help people. I have helped so many people over the years and it will never change from the first person to the last person I ever help or influence. It's gonna feel fucking phenomenal. This shit will never get old to me. Simply because if you become a better person or you help someone become a better person, that is, the, that is, in my opinion, the best part about life, is someone becoming a better person. So being judgmental because someone's fat, being judgmental because someone's fucking looking like a moron doing it. Hey, if you go over and give them advice and they're a prick to you, fuck them then. Be like, all right, dude, yeah, good luck. Don't fucking go mouth off, just like, all right, I tried to help, I did my due diligence and move the fuck on. A lot of people feel inferior when they step into a gym especially people that are out of shape, especially people that are very concerned with how they look, even though they let themselves get 260, fucking 300 pounds, all that. It's okay. I can't tell you how important it is to be a good person. It's crazy that I say these things because I thought that was just part of it. But again, there's, there's so many people that just love being a judgmental fuck. And so many people are attracted to the negativity of reviewing someone and criticizing someone for who they are. I can't even believe this is a big fucking deal. I guess that's real shame. People ask me like, they're like, oh, what do you think of such and such? Expecting me to like have a shitty response. That's a real thing. It is. People don't want to know what I think of some people. Because whenever you're a piece of shit and you criticize other people, like, bro, everybody has to make money. Everybody has to do their thing. But if you want me to dig into you, I'll be fucking, I'll be an asshole. But it's not right. You know, I don't want to, at that point, like, that's why I just, I, I, I have to recognize it because I, I do what I, I do this. But I can't sit there and be like, I, I, I don't know if I'm dwelling on it now, it's just really pissing me the fuck off that I see this shit. And then so many people feed into it. They're like the Kardashians. It's like there's a fucking group of fuckboy fuckheads that are just like, oh, like, what do you think of such and such? He takes steroids. He does this. Yeah, I smoke, I drink, I fuck. 
I fucked up, I did a bunch of drugs, I was a fucking wild IFBB pro bodybuilder. How the fuck do you think I got here? I shoot guns, fuck my woman, love my kids, take care of my fucking people. And you're over there fucking talking about the just talking about it, people. Just boggles my fucking melon, bro. They really don't want me to do anything though. Mm -mm. You wanna hear something conceited? Yeah. If you really want to hear something ignorant, some of the people, motherfucker, I know how good of a bodybuilder I can be. I could be the best 212 bodybuilder in the fucking world. Do you know why I'm not the best 212 bodybuilder in the world? I'd rather do something more extravagant. You want me to kick your ass in bodybuilding and then make my company bigger than the company you work for? So I'll kick your ass in bodybuilding, be better at bodybuilding than you, and my companies will be bigger than the company you work for. And that's why I think a lot of people like me. Because I think some most people know that. Yeah, they just. I think that's also why there's only certain people that fuck with me, and then not many people fuck with me. A lot of people think what you say; they just want to say it. Yeah, and I mean that's a, that's not. It's uh, I like to. It's I have to think that I'm fucking good at everything. You have to think that you're good at everything. Yeah, if you think you suck at fucking filming shit, guess what? You're gonna suck at filming shit. No motherfucker, I better think the best of myself. Be humble. Fuck shit up. Put other people before myself, but also never neglect how important I am in my life and the people around me. I like that thing, how the fuck you think I got here? Think I got here by fucking sucking dick and giving handies? Nope. I enjoy being a positive person and smiling and all that and comedy and having fun. It's a good shit in life. But at the same time, I think that um, my goal in life is to make everything better. In any business deal, in any business deal that I do, motherfucker, it has to be a fair business deal. There's no fucking one-sided deals. Any deal that is one-sided does not last long. Like whenever we talk to any fucking, any distributor, anybody we deal with, guess what, motherfucker? You have to make money and I have to make money. Otherwise, why the fuck are we doing the deal? So you can make more money than me and, and I get the short end of the stick? Or I make more money than you and you get the short end of the stick? What kind of fucking deal is that? That's short-sided and nobody fucking wins because it ends soon. Everything should be longevity. It should be about you making money to provide for your family. It should be about me making money to provide for my people and my family and their families. If you have companies and you have people that work for you, you see the families that these people are, 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 are feeding, okay? Like, so it has to be a mutual relationship. I'm not going into a fucking deal. I don't give a fuck who you are if you're a fucking hundred million dollar company, fucking $300 million company. Motherfucker, it's gonna be a fair deal. You're making money and I'm making money. That's how everything works with me. And if I walk into a room, don't think, do not think that I go into any meeting going, hey guys, how you doing? Nice to meet you. All smiles and fucking handies. No dickheads. I don't give a fuck. This company has grown because of who you guys are, what you believe in, and supporting us, and growing to become better fucking people. And I love it. So if you think that I go into any fucking business deal and I'm like, hey, I'm really excited to be here. Please just give me a deal. Go fuck yourself. We're here to fuck shit up. But I miss lifting weights. So, back to the fucking basics. I do cardio four days a week in the morning. Uh, I don't do as much cardio right now just because I want to put on the size. I, I, I want to attain a certain look because when I attain a certain look, it makes me feel a certain way. So, and in that, that's how my head has to work in order for me to feel, in order for me to operate at the level that I want to.
everybody with how they do things and the way I do things. The deadlifts and gummy bears, lift weights, eat steaks, the fucking keto that I tried, and everybody's criticism of it or their support, how everybody thinks that their way's better. The game changes with the fucking vegan bullshit. Nobody's better than anybody, or no one way is better than someone else's way. Are there flaws? Absolutely. The most important thing that you can do is find your way. You have to try and experiment with things to see what works for you. Are gummy bears good for you? No. They don't serve any purpose. I just like them because they make me feel good. Whenever I'm doing my shit, whenever I'm in the zone, deadlifting, fucking shit up, got metal rolling, let's go. Is the carnivore diet the best diet? No, it's not. You're eliminating foods. You're eliminating food groups. Does it work? Yeah, it might work for a handful of people that need it and it helps their gut, it helps them function better. Not for everybody though, Jesus Christ. Get over your fucking selves. Same thing with the vegan. Maybe it works for you, great, you're very healthy, you're eating fucking vegetables. Good, yes, you should eat vegetables. You eliminate food groups, it's not for everybody. No one way is better than anyone else's way. Find what works for you, because at the end of the day, it's your life. And then anybody that criticizes other people for the way they live, bro, go suck a fucking fat one, you cocksuckers. We're all here to become better. You start fucking with shit, it's not gonna go well for you. Become better, help people improve. You can educate them, you can talk about it, we can have a conversation, but that doesn't mean that you have to change your life for them. Don't do that. Man, of them feel good. It's a little tough knowing that I used to row 405. Those days are long gone. Knowing that I used to do that, leave your ego at the door. Good clean reps, go through the motion, don't go through the motions, get comfortable. So then as you progress day to day, week to week, you can continue to elevate yourself and start fucking shit up after a while. I can't just jump back into what I used to do, you know, hence, the four exercises on there, I might do some, throw some light biceps in at the end, but the four exercises instead of my typical seven, whenever I'm fueled, fully fueled, got fucking eating six to seven meals a day, drinking a gallon and a half of water a day. You know, those things play a huge role. Also, for everybody wondering, steroids do play a big role too, if you were, if you were gonna throw that in the comments. I don't do anything to the level I used to, that's probably the thing is people are most curious about is the is the steroid use and it's like everybody's like oh you know you know people saying oh is he natty or oh, i wonder what a steroid protocol is all that does play a role but at the end of the day dude why are you focused on everybody else's shit why are you so worried about everybody else Don't you worry about your own fucking shit because as you're worrying about everybody else other people are passing you the fuck up and whether you're natty, compete with natty people. If you're not natty, compete with fucking not natty people. Whatever it is, you're becoming better yourself. And if you really want it to be a competition, you gotta strap on your big boy pants. Because life's a competition. There's gonna be fucking people that, in business, at your job, at your place of work, fucking relationships, there's gonna be people that lie, cheat, and steal. And if you ain't ready for the fucking long haul, you're in for a fucking treat. 
Because at some point, you'll run into real motherfuckers. And those real motherfuckers already lied, they cheated, they stole, they know the game, and they don't do it. They just look you directly in the eye and tell you to go fuck yourself and try and beat them. Once you get into, once you get into a class of people like that, you better strap it the fuck on because you're going to be in for a long day. It's been a while since I did these. Little bitch. I haven't done rows like this in a while. These weights are definitely heavier. Newer weights are definitely heavier. It's a real thing. And straighter. Way straighter. You're right. Not like my dick. I have a hook to the left. I just hammer on that fucker. <clears throat> no, the other thing that you'll notice is our gym isn't complete. We have the rest of our equipment coming at the end of this month, beginning of February. Uh, we're gonna deck everything out. But this basic shit that I'm doing, bro, anybody can do it. I mean, we're using rows, more rows, pull-ups, fucking deadlifts, basic shit. Basic shit does work. And you know, as I look at myself, I take my pump cover off, see the veins, I get all excited. But when I look at my physique, continue to construct yourself, criticize yourself, look for what you wanna improve on. I just like doing physical shit that's hard. I like sweating. I like exerting effort. And like I said, when I think about these things, I think about who could be watching. I think about the influence that I would have upon my own children and what they think. Whenever I go into sets, that's what I think about. You know, sometimes I get angry and I let my fucking aggression out, but that's not all the time. There's a time and a place for everything. If I always lift angry and with negativity, I'll, I'll end up exerting that. I want good at that. Just because it's positive doesn't mean that it's fucking rainbows and blowjobs. It can be the good shit, intensity. take all my notes on the whiteboard and then take pictures with my phone. The pre and then the post, I'll make notes like that. That's your notebook, ladies and gentlemen. Get a notebook, write things down. If you're looking to progress, become better, I have to take notes. I did 75 reps on assisted pull-ups. I did the 140s. I wasn't expecting to do the 140s. I did five, I did five sets because I was feeling it. I worked up to 225. I'll make notes about the amount of water I drank. I know the pre-workout that I took, one and a half scoops of hydraulic, uh, three quarters of a scoop of demo day, how much I'm sweating. I'll probably take a picture of myself here throughout the workout. 
documentation. Your phone has made it so easy to do so. Just log it all on your phone, write it down in a notebook or in your notes, whatever you do, do it so you can keep track. Some people don't want to and you don't have to, but if you're trying to track your progress or see where you stand and how you're becoming better and see where you slipped up or wherever you were, uh, or where you're stepping up, gotta document it all. I like my whiteboard because big, I can see it. I show all of you guys. So I'm gonna do deadlifts right now. Uh, I know for a fact, I'm doing pretty good with my food right now. I eat five whole meals a day. Pretty well balanced between fat, carbohydrate, and protein. Not Protein obviously higher. Um, about 280 grams of protein a day, about 75 grams of fat, and about 200 grams of carbohydrates. So in my opinion, for me, that's pretty well balanced because I'm usually low fat, uh, a little higher carbohydrates, and the protein's usually a little higher. But I'm not taking the same shit and I just got back into a program. So I'll probably do a little light biceps at the end just because it'll be my cool down. And that's the part of me, it's probably not gonna serve me any good, I just like doing it. Also, people are probably like, oh, look at him using his straps, little pussy. To a certain extent, yes. Uh, but I smashed my finger. I think I broke the tip of my, this weekend. It's not an excuse, but I personally like uh, not using straps up to 315 on deadlifts. Just get your dick skinners all ready and set. They're still there, I still do a lot of, I still split a lot of wood and do a lot of outdoor work. But uh, need to get back in the lifting, lifting strength again. We're getting there again. Yeah, feels good. I know one thing, my shoulders got like really round. I don't have that big fucking ignorant look. I'd like to get that back. Definitely need to eat more food for shit like this. I'll say it again, I heard it said this whole fucking time. Find what you like, find what makes you tick, find what makes you feel alive. If that's fucking being a vegan and doing marathons, fucker do it. If it's just eating steaks all day, no veggies, nothing, doing the carnivore thing, and doing CrossFit, the fucker, that's for you. Whatever it is that makes you feel alive, do that shit. Learn a bunch, trial and error everything, see what you like. Like, you know, I did the keto thing, fucking goddamn. The keto police got me. No, I, I enjoyed it, but the, like I said, the one thing that I didn't enjoy the whole time with it, Nope, I didn't have the pumps in the gym is the same. They weren't the same. They weren't this. Great way to drop some fat, look good naked, but not a way of life for me. Me personally, I like chicken and rice, I like rewarding myself with a burger and a dessert on the weekends. I like eating ass, having a cigar, and fucking shit up. It's my game.